Advocate Busisue Mkwebane has suffered another crushing defeat in the courts. This time around, Mkwebane has lost to President Sue Ramaphosa on the ANC CR17 campaign funding report. President's spokesperson, Kusela Diko, says the ruling is vindication for the president. President Ramaphosa uh, has welcomed the judgment of the Gauteng uh, Division of the High Court. The president says that indeed this uh, judgment would have reasserted um, the issues that he had been raising repeatedly. Firstly, that there was actually no factual basis uh, for any assertion that he would have misled parliament and by necessary implication uh, the nation. And secondly, that there was no lawful activity that the president would have participated in and that by no stretch of the imagination or, or no stretch of law, in fact, can you come to that conclusion as the public protector did. Um, we welcome this judgment. Um, we, we welcome the fact that we believe it brings finality to the matter. The president remains committed to honest and effective governance. The ANC says the judgment clearly illustrates that the public protector's report was more of fractional party politics than law. In a signal of no confidence in Mkwebane, head of ANC presidency Sibongile Pesani goes to say the judgment says a lot about the public protector's capabilities. It's a very scathing judgment. It's a judgment that has done serious damage to the image of uh, the good office of the public protector. And because it's a judgment that indicates that uh, there was lack of logical objectivity. So it's quite damaging on the side of the public protector and clearly it's a that finding also corroborates some of the suspicions that it was more about factional battles to tarnish the image of President Ramaphosa. The Democratic Alliance under Musi Maimane's leadership instigated the investigation into President Sir Ramaphosa and the 500,000 rand donation from Gavin Watson. But now, the party says this judgment amplifies their case for the removal of Busiswe Mkwebane as the public protector. We don't feel that she's fit and proper to hold office. Now, what you'll note is that this judgment is absolutely scathing. It is the worst uh, utterances about a public protector one could ever uh, have the misfortune of seeing. Now, it's not about the public protector as a person anymore. It's now about the damage that the public protector is doing to the integrity of her office. And it is now time for this public protector to step aside and let us put a public protector in office who can bring back esteem to the office. The EFF has shown support for the public protector. It's rejected the judgment and says the matter is not over. That is why we as the EFF are going to subject the ruling of the North Houting High Court uh, to a challenge in the Supreme Court of Appeals and, and ultimately to the Constitutional Court. Uh, we're going to fight this until we get proper uh, a ruling in terms of uh, what has happened because uh, we all of us know that uh, Mr. Sarah Ramaphosa was benefiting personally. That is why he could directly utilize that money to give to even members of parliament of the economic freedom fighters. So he has personally benefited. Being a president is a personal benefit. Mkwebane's future hangs in the balance as the governing party is yet to decide on whether to support the DA's motion for a removal. But if her losses in the courts are anything to go by, her office remains vulnerable to attacks. Quarter journalists. All right. Samke Lumasego, SABC News, Johannesburg.